wants to know, um, getting into some things about your uh, veganism, what's a typical breakfast for you? Typical breakfast in the morning for Lord Ultramantis Black will consist of one heaping bowl full of steel cut oats topped off with some fresh fruit, uh, blueberries, strawberries, bananas. We, we in the business know that as California oatmeal. Uh, in addition, I would have a, a big, tall glass of a nice ice cold uh, macronutrient rice protein shake. Uh, those are very important. Uh, no vitamins, don't believe in any kind of artificial supplement whatsoever. Um, and of course, a little green tea to, uh, to, get, the, uh, to get the metabolism running. Yes. <laughs> well, that's okay, I'm sure. Kind of, uh, kind of leading off of that, this is an odd one. Uh, we've got a question here from Jake Desmond. Whew. He wants to know your favorite part of the food pyramid. That's an irrelevant question. Next, please. We have a question from Zia. Hi, Zia. Uh, what else does he order do to prepare for battle? Like, what's your what's your workout strategy? And I I'm curious myself because obviously you and Crossbones are in very different conditions. Uh, yes, uh, his condition quite critical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, folks, uh, we we do um, we we undergo very rigorous personal training. Um, of course, my personal yoga instructor, the Golden Palomino, Larry Sweeney, I uh, take his his yoga instruction very seriously. Yes, um, Palomino has taught me everything I know um, as far as uh, the yoga and uh, anything from any kind of the Eastern arts and meditation and whatnot. Uh, as far as in the gym when I hit the irons, uh, I basically do all the opposite uh, techniques and exercises as uh, Hydra. If you're familiar with that young man. Oh, he's, he's, he's evil, evil piece of trash boy. I, but, I mean, something's yeah. working for him. I... Yeah, I, I know. We just, we just, uh, he, so we'd rather discuss that, uh, that has been. <laughs> What's the Jay Brown, as they say in, uh, in, in some circles, you know? <laughs> we, we might come back to Hydra. Okay, well, just, yeah, uh, sure, if you're into that kind of thing. This, uh, this is, comes from, this is an anonymous viewer. Mm. Uh, did not wish to be recognized, mm. uh, and I see why. How do you tolerate crossbones and, you know, who's just general gluttony? Hey, the man is what he is, you know, sweetheart? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But really, crossbones, I mean, he's a lifelong friend of mine, a life partner, if you will. You can call him that if you like. Hey, I mean, he's very big in the bear community, and I respect that. I do, I really do respect that. Yes, I do. We're, we're free to be who we are, folks. We are. This is a great day and age that we're in right now. So, crossbones, you know, um, he, the man, does, he, likes, he likes to indulge on occasion, um, but also when, when the time comes in the ring, he's my muscle. He's my thug, my backup man. He's there to destroy and punch and kick and, and do whatever that wrestling is that he does. So, um, you, you, you gotta love the man. <laughs> this, is a, this is a question coming from Becca. Um, what's, your, what's your favorite vegan treat? Favorite vegan confection? You know, oh, that's, a, that's a toughie. That's a, that really is a toughie. Uh, actually, I, I enjoy the vegan treats made by my own grandmama. Yes, Grammy, I call her. She's very, very, very good with the baked goods, the, the Slavic baked goods, and the Polish, and the Italian, and uh, your the, Slavic the grandmother Pennsylvania. is vegan. What? Well, yours is not. She's not Slavic. Well, there we go. We will disagree to disagree. Uh, the next question here comes from comes from John Zandig. The icon. Yes. Um. Woo! Please, yes. Uh, current plans in Chikara for the Order of the Neo Solar Temple, and I mean, I, I understand if you have to kind of keep that uh, keep that under wraps, but if you give us a little preview, I think we'd appreciate that. Hey, right? folks, we've been destroying this pro wrestling since day one. Am I right? Ha huh, ha! Huh? Yes, we have been, and uh, we'll continue to do so. We will destroy it by on uh, every turn. But uh, um, of course, uh, we are we'll experiment with some new uh, some new some new science, if you will, in the order. Uh, I don't want to go too far in depth with that, but uh, um, basically, can I say familiar? Yes. Okay. No? Okay. That's. Um, yes. Well, that that kind of it kind of raises a question in my mind. Um, the Neo Solar Temple. Where where is this? Like, what if I were to show up on the doorstep, presuming I could find it? What 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 would I find? What what is this? 
This? What? What is the Neo Solar Temple? I don't. Where? A, a T-shirt printing, I'd assume. Um, Let me tell you this. Vegan bakery. Let me tell you this, my dear friend. The Neo Solar Temple was an idea, a concept, a religion, if you will, first put together by the the union of both myself and Brother Ernest Angel. If you're familiar with Brother Brother Angel, well, him and the choir boys, uh, Jimmy and Tommy Baker, we all got together and we decided on this concept of a, what we like to call Wrestling Village USA. Yes, a fundamental town where we would just get together and we would, we would just, we would, we'd, all things wrestling. You see, that's where it came from, all things wrestling. All things wrestling and world domination. Ha 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 ha! Well, then all I decided that I wanted nothing to do with this wrestling business, so I decided the only way to destroy this wrestling business, because it is in fact inherently evil, was to destroy it from the inside out. And we've gone over this many times in the past, but that's, that's essentially how it would work. Now, if you were to come to the door of the Neo Solar Temple, and uh, you would ring the doorbell, first of all, we'd open the door and we'd say, we don't want any of the watchtower, you know? We're not into that kind of thing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you. But anyway, but then afterwards we'd realize who you were, and we'd call you in, and when we'd discuss our own principles and values, and we'd offer you some soup. Some miso soup, perhaps. No bonita flake, none of that kind of stuff. But anyway, we would have a wonderful time. We'd talk, we'd chat, we'd eat, we'd, we'd drink um, teas, of course. And uh, we'd, we'd go from there. Does that answer your question? I, I, I think so, yeah. You know, if I may, perhaps... Yeah, well, yes. But, but perhaps this might, this might help you a little further. Um, this, this is actually a little something. Let me... Let me if, if I may. I, I penned this last night, a little poem. I penned this um, in my, my journal. By candlelight at my bedside table while I was in bed, and I ripped this page yeah. from, from my oh, journal. Yeah. Let me, well, no, no, please. Um, th this probably would sum up things uh, a little bit more succinctly for me. <clears throat> I'm Cousin Casey from down on the farm. I'm the youngin' among them. I've got that country charm. I will take you to the mat with my hugs and my kisses, with my hugs, and my kisses, with my hugs, and my kisses. I'm Cousin Casey, and I'm Wrestlelicious. Yes, thank you. I, I hope that cleared things up for, for some I've of the weird viewers out there. somewhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Do you have a question from a viewer? This is from the Son of Mecca Mummy, second generation superstar. Hmm. Assemble a dream team for a cybernetical match. A dream team for the cybernetical match. Now we're we talking human beings, live, dead, somewhere in between. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put no restrictions on this. Okay, then. I would start off with my man, with a plan. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about none other than General Dwight D. Eisenhower. <laughs> oh yes, yes, that's who I was talking. He's the captain, of course. Um, why? Well, you know, hey, he's uh, he's been all over the map. Um. Uh, beyond that, of course, I would pick uh, my comrade Crossbones. Um, I've heard a lot about Ange Cassidy. Uh, I don't no, know. He, no. No? D no. I've been getting a lot of good feedback no, I, about I, Ange. I, 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 no. Just... Well, okay, if I, if I have to subtract, take him from the equation, um, in addition, I would also pick, uh, oh my, well, of course, Eddie Gilbert. Um, the Ringer? Are you familiar with The Ringer? Uh, he's, he's, yeah, he, The Ringer. Uh, Mark Mest, uh, let's see, Arthur Fonzarelli, uh, uh, This is, tw there's 27 names. You need to pare it down. How, how, how big is this Steve Benedico team? Uh, we're, we're 28, 29? Am I getting close? I'm gonna actually move on to the next question. Alright, fine. 